Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Queen of all the children, it's your girl, Miss Supermodel. And today I have your January 2019 monthly reading, okay? Um, before I get started and shuffling your cards, I would like to say I hope you guys had a very happy holiday. And um, I'm just making sure I'm the cards are reversed um, before I start shuffling. Um, but hopefully you guys had a very happy holiday. And um, hope you guys have a very wonderful um, new year as well. You know, um, I've been saying that this is going to be, you know, a great year. I can feel that this is going to be, a, you know, a phenomenal year. And I hope that it's one for you guys as well. So without further ado, let's um, get into shuffling for your card. I already pre-shuffled your advice portion before. I got on camera, so that's already laid out. Just gotta do the shuffle for you. Okay. 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 So, you guys, I see that there's going to be a lot of romantic um, offers being made to you. Also, when I'm shuffling, I can see it. And also, I see that there's going to be a lot of new beginnings, too. Yeah. See, look. This card keeps popping up. The Knight of um, Wands. And look, when I cut the deck. Which is fulfilled. A lot of you guys are going to be happy with offers coming towards you. So it's supposed to be like this. But yeah. You guys are going to be a lot happy with offers coming towards you. See, look. Even when I cut the card at the bottom of the deck, it's your overall energy. The four of wands. <laughs> that give you a soulmate. Um, this is a soulmate connection. And underneath the four of wands was the two of cups. I told y'all, y'all gonna be getting the offer shit. This this one kept coming out when I was shuffling. I'm like, you about to get an offer of the Knight of Cups was making an offer to the, the Two of Cups when I was shuffling the deck. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, it's gonna be some good uh some good energy for you guys. Okay, so the overall energy is the four of wands. Okay, so um, basically, when I see the four of wands here, I see that there could be a, um, a possible connection. Well, not a possible, it is a connection, a twin flame connection, okay? And it's a partnership, a love partnership. So over the, the overall energy is driving you is a love partnership. Um, or the idea of finding love or being connected with your twin flame or somebody that you um, that you really in love with, okay? So your current energy is the Knight of Swords, okay? So in this Knight of Swords energy, Taurus, I see, and this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy, I see that you thinking about um, you could be taking fast action because the Knight of Swords is all about quickness, moving fast, um, just fast moving action, okay? And I see that you're thinking about whatever it is, this current energy that you got you in is quick. Like you're thinking about doing something quickly, okay? And you're, the person that you're dealing with, they have, the, or the person that you're dealing with or thinking about, they're currently in the Queen of Wands energy, okay? So the Queen of Wands energy, she's very um, 
alert about what's going on with her. She's, um, you know, she go after what it is that she wants. She's very passionate. Um, yeah, she's very passionate, feisty. Okay. And this um, is Aries Leo, Sagittarius energy. So you could, your person can be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or have these signs in their chart. Okay. Or you're dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or they can have those signs in that chart. So in the past, we have the Page of Swords energy. Okay. So um, this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So you could have been dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, or they can have these signs in that chart, or you can then, um, that could have been like some type of immature communication between the two of you, or, um, this person could have been like stalking you, or you could have been stalking them in the past. Okay, but I want to find out why you in this Knight of Wands energy, like what's, why are you moving so quick? Ooh. Okay, so the Ten of Swords came out and flew out in reverse. I said came out like the mother of the flu. Okay, the Ten of Swords came out in reverse. So basically, um, with the Ten of Swords in the upright, it's like it was a betrayal, a deception. You know, somebody backstabbed you to the ultimate degree, like the ultimate betrayal, okay? Um, and it could be an ending. But here, it's like somebody is trying to like um, prevent betrayal or prevent an ending from happening. So maybe you're trying to prevent an ending because we have the Wheel of Fortune here so at the bottom, so that's good luck. Like, the wheel is turning in your favor. So maybe there was some type of um, deceit or betrayal that's going moving forward. I mean, deceit or betrayal that happened. And um, currently, in your current energy, Taurus, you're... Um, You're trying to stop an ending from happening and you're trying to move fast. You're moving fast about it. You're trying to stop the ending from happening. And um, it's it's looking like it's going to, you know, whatever it is that you're doing is going to be in your favor because the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright, okay? And I do see that you guys are coming into union if this has something to do with a partner that you're dealing with. I do see the overall energy is that you're coming into union. So whatever it is, you're trying to stop, um, stop this. You're trying to stop an ending, and you're trying to make moves quick to stop it. Can you close my door, please? Thank you. Let's go to your partner. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? I love this person is seeing like a very passionate energy with you. They could be on guard and defensive too. You know, based on what happened in the past, it could have been immature communication between you guys, like I said. Um, they could have been y'all could have been spying on each other. But I do see that even though this person has a lot of passion for you, um, they have passionate energy, they they trying to get what it is that they want. Or well, this could be you, you know, but um I see this person is a little bit defensive. Why is this um Queen of Wands here? Okay, two cards came out. And we I was about to say this and I'm so I was ready to say the ten of cups because I've seen it because whatever this person is, you make them happy, but it came out again. So we have Two more tens, okay. We have the ten, <coughs> the ten of coins, crying find the queen of wands, and we have the ten of cups, <coughs> okay. So, whoever this person is, they going into what it is they want passionately, okay. This person that you're dealing with, well, this could be you, but 
uh, this is in a person section. So the person that you're dealing with, they're real passionate about you in this Queen of Wands energy. Okay, and um, they're ready for a commitment with you. They're ready to settle down for, with you. They're ready for the whole shebang, like the kids, the dog, that whole house with the white picket fence and everything. And you make them happy. Like, you are that ten of cups. You, they are so in love with you. Like, you are the ultimate happiness for them. Okay? This is how this person feels about you. So this goes back to what the overall energy is of the reading is that you guys are meant to be together. This is a um, twin flame relationship, okay, or a marriage or something. If you might be married to this person or something, like, if you married to this person, this person is very passionate about you. They, they're super in love with you and they're happy that they committed to you in the marriage, okay? Um, but on your end, you moving quick and you're trying to prevent some type of ending or betrayal. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got the moon. I'm going to clarify all of that. But maybe um, I'm going to clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse. Before I even move on and look, some more cards flew out. So we have the King of um, King of Coins came out in reverse, okay? So that could be some issues and stability, um, maybe in finances. Okay, the um, the sun came out in reverse on your end, and so did justice. Okay, so so basically, you unhappy. Okay, in this situation, and um, you feeling like this person is un like not trustworthy. You may be feeling like this person isn't trustworthy, or you're not getting the truth, like you seeking some type of truth or something from them, and you're not getting it, or you you don't feel like this that this person is right for you, like y'all ain't like y'all ain't right for each other, basically. I think what this Knight of Wands is that you is you jump into conclusions about this person because. The way that this person is feeling about you and the way that you feeling about this person is fucking opposite, okay? It's completely opposite. That's why I said in the past there must be some in, some miscommunication, okay? Immature communication between y'all where y'all wasn't connecting right and you may have misunderstood something. Okay, um, because it's like, like you move into conclusions. Like even with this um, Knight of Wands being quick, Quick here like this and the page of swords being here at the same time. It's like you jump to conclusions. Either you trying to prevent an ending or you want to end things because the person ain't making you happy. You feeling unstable with this person. Like this person is unstable or you feeling unstable or you feeling unhappy. And you feeling untrustworthy, okay, with the, um, you know, you're not trusting this person. And it could be about finances. Let me go and clarify this some more. This is all in your fucking mind. I don't even need to clarify. This is at the bottom of the deck. With the um the eight of swords. This is all in your mind, Taurus. This is all in your mind. Yeah. This is all in your mind. I didn't even need to clarify. You see this man trapped, looking all crazy down here with all these swords sticking out, yeah. This is he this is mentally fucking his ass up. This is in your mind and you jump into conclusions. You moving your mind is moving too fast. And you thinking that what if it don't work out? What if things don't work out? What if it's not gonna work out? You know, what if I'm not happy? Um, what if this person is untrustworthy? What if this person is not stable? What if they, you know, what if the money is gonna be fucked up when we when we come into union? This is what this is about. I see it. Your mind is moving a mile a minute, Taurus. You must be a Taurus with some damn Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in your chart or something. Y'all need to look up your your um astrology signs. I'm telling you, look these astrology signs up. <laughs> with the astro um, what is it? Astroastrology.com or astro.com or something. Just type in free birth chart on Google, and you'll get it. I'm telling you something. 
You're thinking the worst right now. This is what's going on. You're thinking the worst currently about this partnership, this union, this connection that's destined to be, okay? While on the other hand, this person that's, that you're dealing with is very passionate about you. They see that being in this commitment with you or having this commitment with you is going to make them happy, okay? So all that is in your mind, Taurus. All that's in your mind. So in the past, it was like immature communication with you guys, um, you know, misunderstandings and things of that sort. I see that. The current energy, we have the emperor, okay? So somebody is basically trying to take control of the situation, um, trying to be dominant about the situation. Let's clarify this emperor. Why is this emperor here? Um, the emperor could also signify a father figure, like a male. So if you're a Taurus that's watching as a male, this could be you with your current energy. Because I've seen that somebody wants to make an offer in this partnership, that could be you, Taurus. You could be thinking about making a love offer inside to this partnership, um, to this person who thinks very highly of you, obviously, who you make them very happy. But you only in mind with all this craziness. You know, what if it's not going to work out? What if this ain't that? What if this ain't that? Like, don't stress about that. I'm surprised the damn nine of swords ain't come out, but I ain't keep shuffling for it. Because <laughs> I already see what the heck is going on. Call for the emperor, please, and thank you. Call for the emperor. Basically, yeah, you need to take control of the situation. You need to gain control over your mind. It says intuitively, the emperor is here and clarifying it is the um, high priestess. So it's basically saying you know what to do intuitively. Okay. Um, you need to gain control. Like I said, this is all in your mind. Your mind is moving a mile a minute. Okay. Thinking about this. It's saying for you to get control over yourself. Okay. With the, um, with the emperor. You need to get it together, okay? Get control over yourself. Get control over that brain of yours that's moving too fast, okay? And it's saying, because look within yourself. Intuitively, you know that this is, that you want this partnership. You know that ultimately this is where you're going to end up. You know that this partnership is, is what you want. So you need to get a grip, okay? And get out of your damn mind. And that's the final decision, okay? <laughs> that is the judgment, okay? Case case closed. Case is closed here, okay? So get control of yourself. Yeah, because you know that, that, that you want this partnership. But you're thinking about the what ifs. What if this don't work out? What if that don't work out? Like, don't worry about that. Like, it's all love here. Like, this person completely loves you. Like, they want the Ten of Cups with you. They want this damn... To the pinnacles with you, like they're super passionate about you. I mean, come on now, come on now. That shit is gonna work out. And then the overall energy is the four of wands. This is my twin flame card. Not only do we have the four of wands, we got the goddamn two of cups showing up in the reading too, and the damn ten of um the ten of cups. And when I was shuffling, I showed y'all the nine, the wishes fulfilled. You know that this person fulfilled you. Y'all playing games. Y'all playing games. Taurus, come on now. Playing games. Just get out your mind. Get out of your mind with this mess. Please. Okay, so the, the um, so the, this is the current energy right now. So currently, you need to, and this is all currently it's going with this. So currently, you need to get, a, get in control of yourself, okay? And um, because it's so, so you know that this is the partnership for you. You know that you love this person. You know that you love them. Okay, you're fighting it for some reason. You're trying to fight, 
fight the love. I don't know why. I don't know why you're fighting it. See, you're fighting it with the um, Knight of Swords. And you're fighting it because you don't think it's going to work out. You don't think you're going to end up happy. You don't think that you can, that this person is trustworthy. You don't think, I mean, you just going back and forth with your brain with a whole bunch of nonsense. But you love the person, though. You love them, but you're thinking all this negative stuff about a million and one reasons why you won't commit or why you don't want to jump into the jump into it. I think that this is, I don't think I'm speaking to a Taurus who ain't used to being into a commitment, okay? I think that this Taurus right here that I'm talking to, that this is for, I think that this person is scared of commitment, okay? They really want to be with this person. They see how happy they are with this person, but they're trying to think of things in their mind to like, Oh, well, if I find a flaw here or if I find, like, anything major, then I shouldn't do that. You see what I'm saying? No. Mm -mm. You need to get out of your mind and get with this person. You know that you, you love this person. But you love them, though. This is a person that's scared to love, who's afraid to love, who probably haven't loved anybody before, who probably, and if they did love them, they didn't do it properly. It wasn't done in a proper manner. Uh, but then the love came back around to them the second time. Because God blessed them with love again. And um, and they are just like, oh, it's too good to be true type of stuff. But yeah. So the current, I mean, the future energy, we have the Ten of Wands here, okay? So for some of y'all, all the Tens is out on the board now. Let me see. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. So all the Tens is out here on the board. That's the completion of a cycle. So basically, all this that's going on in your mind right now, that's all going to come to an end. Okay. Um, it's going to all come to an end. This is going to be, this is going to be on your mind so much that it's going to become a burden to you. Okay. It's going to become a burden to you. Let's clarify this ten once. Because in the future energy, I see. We have the Four of Wands and the Six of Coins. Yeah, it's it's a burden to you because you want to move forward and move. Um, you want to move forward and give equally in the situation with this Three of Wands and the Six of Coins. Okay, and um, with all these tens on the board, I see they're coming to a completion, and I see that you move forward. Okay, and um, an offering. Uh, you know, offering equal give and take with this person, giving to this person, sharing, caring. For some of y'all, y'all just having a damn hard time coming together with a person. Like, you must be a selfish ass person. Sorry to say. <laughs> some of y'all, y'all must be just selfish. Like, it's like you just going back and forth about in your mind, like it's like too like it's it's too much for you to go and move forward and give and care to this person. Okay. But I do see all that coming to an end. I do see you moving forward in the in the future energy and I do see you giving equally to this person. Okay. Because this person is giving you all that love. They want you to give them that love in return. Okay. But you're holding back your love because you're afraid. Okay? Because you're afraid. And at the bottom, we have the four swords, so I see that you contemplating and resting on, and thinking on the idea, which is what you're already currently doing, you know, going back and forth in your mind about the idea, contemplating, resting, and thinking. Okay, so the outcome, we have um, the four of, I mean the four, the eight of coins, okay? So, the, for the outcome is, I see that you're working, putting in work. Yeah. You putting in work, um, for some of y'all, y'all already been in a relationship already, but, um, if not, you trying to put in work so that you can become single, um, uh, but also, you putting in work so that you can get stability, okay, um, financial stability, so maybe you, you don't want to come forward with this person because of your own insecurities, this can have a lot to do with your own insecurities. I 
the not at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of swords. Like I said, stressed out, worried, anxiety. This is your energy. Like I'm picking all of that up. And I just say that I'm surprised the nine of swords didn't show itself with all this mess going on. I mean, clearly this person loves you and they want everything with you. Is you just holding back? Or if this, I mean, switch the energies around, but this is how I got the layout set up to read it like this. But if you if you feel like you're the other person and then put yourself in that shoe, you know, and if you if you think this is the partner that's doing all this craziness in the mind, then that must be the partner, okay? Because this the crazy thing is right now, and I'm about to say this on camera, like my person is a Taurus moon and a fucking Taurus, um, in the Taurus rising, right? And he's an Aquarius sun. And this is how I feel like he feel like in this. Like I see like my whole situation in here. And I see my situation in, in here. And that's why I don't like really doing um, our moon signs, our sun signs, our rising signs. Like all back to back like this. And they all like in the beginning. Like the way that I do my videos. And it just be like, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, this must be a whole tourist thing because apparently a lot of y'all is going through this um, situation. But for the outcome, though, I do see you working hard at trying to um, get stability and get yourself stable. Probably getting your, your mental balance going and also stable in finances, too. Um... I do see that some of y'all is working hard, doing more work, putting more work, and um, throwing yourself more into work so that you can get your mind off of this situation here, okay, that you're trying to run away from because it's worrying you with the nine of um, swords that was at the bottom of the deck. So this shit is stressing you out, worrying you out, and you throwing yourself into work, okay? You figure I might as well just... Um, throw myself into work because it's just stressing me out so much. But little do you know, like, again, this is the final decision. I was going to keep shuffling, but I keep telling you how to shuffle this. This is the final decision, okay? You need to get control of yourself, okay? Because you know that this is the person that you love, okay? This is the person that you love. Get control of yourself. Like I said, final decision. This ain't no message from me. This is from, this is from God Himself. Okay, the Holy Spirit, my angels, and the Holy Spirit is all around me. They the ones that give me the um. They the ones that's pulling these cards. Okay, I'm just the one that's reading them to y'all. What I see. Okay, so yeah, you throwing yourself in the work and trying to avoid the inevitable is not. It's not gonna um. It's not going to help anything. And I got a feeling that you guys have been on this same roller coaster for months. Like feeling this way. Going back and forth whether or not you wanted to be in a union with this person. Let's um, clarify this four of wands. What's this four of wands here? You know, this person make you happy. Not a cup of tea in this account. And they told you that, too. They told... Ooh. Okay, that one had to fly away over there. We have the... <coughs> five of Wands, okay? So, I went from the Four of Wands to the Five of Wands. So, yeah. You conflicted about what to do with this... With this union... With this partnership, this is a soulmate or something, a uh, marriage. You conflicted about what to do with this union, and it's saddening you, actually. This is really saddening you. This is hurting you. Um, going back and forth about this decision with this person. Let's clarify this page of swords, because I think I'm missing something. If y'all, if this person loves you so much, why is you so conflicted? Why is this page of swords here? The Page of Swords was the past card, which is the past energy between y'all, which I said was immature communication, um, misunderstandings. Um, 
Let me buy this page. Okay, we got the two of wands, clarifying the page of swords, and we have the three of cups. Okay, so yeah, um, somebody was spying on somebody, most likely. They were trying to find out. They was indecisive about maybe, okay, I have a few things that I can say about this. And it, um, basically, so in the past, there was some immature communication between you guys, okay? Um, or the situation was, like, fresh and new. You guys were just starting to get to know each other. Um, you guys were getting to know each other. And um, you know, you was having a good time with this person. This person was a friend of yours, okay? Or a close friend or something like that that you was having a good, good time with. Um, but you could have been in a situation with someone else. Okay, and then you had to choose between, um, then you had choices to make between this person and a current person or a person you was dealing with, okay? That's one reason. Um, another thing is, I'm seeing is that, um, and it could have been a Scorpio that you was trying to decide against, um, between, it could have been a Scorpio and then who was the person that you was dealing with, with the death card being at the bottom of the deck. Um, so you could have been contemplating on whether or not you should continue to have a friendship with this person or um, or end things with this person too, okay? Um, also with this scenario, with another scenario, but you could have been at the... This could have been you, or this could have been the other person. He could have been trying to decide against between a Scorpio or a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay? Or somebody that has those signs in their chart. But I feel like this was like some type of friend situation where somebody was just friends. They was kicking it with each other, you know. Um, it was like harmless communication until the person caught feelings. Somebody caught feelings, either both y'all caught feelings or one of y'all caught feelings. Basically, it looks, it's looking like both of y'all caught feelings because currently you love this person. Intuitively, you love them. And this person wants to give you everything. They want to give you the ultimate everything, okay? So y'all both caught feelings in the past and you had to decide you know, on what it is that you wanted to do with this friendship person that she was kicking it with. And that's why you're so conflicted. Okay, so let's get some damn advice. Your advice is already um, pulled, so let's um, go to these new cards that I had got. So I told all the other signs, I didn't tell y'all. So my kids, I got these cards for Christmas, but they had gave them to me. They have, like, um, inspirational messages on them, but as we go along, you're going to see that they're going to color them, okay? So, as I go along with the, with the, uh, you know, throughout the year and using these cards, you'll see that they're going to be colorful, okay? Because you're supposed to color the cards. So, this message came out when I pre-shuffled, and it says, commit your actions to the Lord and... Your plans will succeed, okay? And it says, Proverbs 10, 10, 3. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, basically, I mean, this goes with this, okay? Lay your burdens down with the Lord. It says, Commit your actions to the Lord. That means lay your burdens down to rest to the Lord. And it says, and your plans will succeed. Okay? Lay your burdens down to rest with the Lord. Okay? Lay all this down. Get out of your mind. Like, get out of your mind. 
Stop being trapped. Lay your burdens down to rest, okay, with the Lord. Just put it in his hands, and then you'll be able to move, move forward in the situation with this person that you clearly love, that you clearly love, that you clearly meant to be with, okay? And um, so that you guys can start giving equally to each other. So you can stop holding back, okay? The next message, there's another the separate deck. Each, each one of the girls got one. Um, but it's ironic because my daughter colored this one yesterday and she just picked it out of the middle of the deck. It was like, oh, this is the one that I want to color, right? So as I put it back in the deck, when I started pre-shuffling, this one came right back out. So, and it's, it's funny because it's the only colored one in the deck so far. Um, and it's colored already. She colored it for us. So you guys are going to start seeing them like colored or whatever, but it's quite, it was quite nice though. Um. I mean, the message, you see how the message just came right back out, like from yesterday to today. So basically, um, this one says, trust God to provide all you need, okay? Trust God to provide all that you need, okay? Don't worry about, you know, whether this person is not going to be financially stable for me. Don't worry about whether this person isn't going to be, you know, what if they're not trustworthy, what if I'm not happy, you know, what if we don't work out? What if it's a break ending? You know, don't worry about that. Do not worry about it, okay? Please don't worry about it. Because the way this person is feeling about you, with this ten of cups and this goddamn ten of, um, they want all this with you. They happy with you. They happy with you. It says trust that God will provide all that you need. He will provide it for you. Just let this shit go. Let it all go. Let the burden lay down to rest, Okay. So that you can move forward with the plans that's meant to happen. Okay. And then for the romance angels, the um, card that came out was honeymoon. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. So once you get out of your mind with all this mess, you guys are going to be um, coming together. You know, and this person is going to throw down all this passionate energy that they feel on you. All of it. Okay, and then we have retreat. It says time to disconnect from the world. So once you guys come into union, like I said, it's a conflict with you guys coming to union. This is what the problem is. It's a conflict with, with y'all coming into union, and the conflict is because somebody is trapped in their mind with something. You know, you're trapped in your mind about this. What if this don't work out? What if that don't work out? Okay, so basically, you guys are going to be retreating together, okay, or on a honeymoon stage. So it's going to be like that relationship that just started when, when y'all come back into union because once you let all this stuff go, y'all gonna come back into union. It's gonna be the honeymoon stage. Y'all gonna be retreating, right? I mean, this is how it goes. Like, you get married, then y'all hide away from the world and y'all go together with just y'all two and forget everybody else exists. <laughs> this is how this is probably gonna end up being, okay? Let me see if I can get one more romance angel. And this could very well be a match that you had it with somebody. Um, somebody. Oh, we got a few messages that flipped over. Some more. Okay, so it says, let your friends help you. Okay, let go of control issues. What the hell did I just say? Get out of your damn mind. Get out your mind with all of this, okay? And then we got pay attention to the red flags, okay? Pay attention to the red flags. At the bottom, we have flirt. It says extend your lighthearted energy, okay? So basically, um, pay attention to the red flags is like saying he this one, okay? You the ones that is listening to this message and this message is resonating for you. This passage to the red flags is saying, heed this warning or pay attention to what it is that you're thinking. Okay? Pay attention to the negative thoughts that you're thinking. Okay? But also heed this warning. This is basically what it's saying. It's saying to heed this warning. Um did we have let go of control issues? Yes, like, let it go. Like, 
Let go of all this that you have trapped in your mind. Okay, because your mind is moving a mile a minute. Your mind is your mind is moving um a mile a minute, okay? And then we have let your friends help you. It says X X for X and accept the support you need from others. The reason why I pause like that is because I just seen something else in these cards, okay? I just seen something else that just came to me and I think I need to say it real quick. Okay, so basically, um, for some of you, because all y'all is not in that type of situation, and I just seen another situation. So some of y'all in this situation, y'all want to quickly get away. Um, the reason why y'all in a union with a person or a partnership with a person or this could be a twin flame situation or a soulmate situation, and you guys are arguing and fussing and fighting right now, there's conflict in your union. Um... You feel like you need to, and this is the Taurus that I'm speaking to, you feel like that you really need to get away from this person. Um, you feel like you really need to get away from this person because um, this person isn't trustworthy. This person, you know, isn't financially stable. This person don't make you happy, okay? And, um, but some of you guys are trying to prevent this in some um, way or form. You guys are trying to prevent this. This person has betrayed you, okay, in the past. And also, um, I do see that this person could be having passionate feelings for somebody else. They can already have a whole relationship with somebody else, a whole commitment somewhere else, okay? Because also, I see that in, the, in this past that, um, that y'all was communicating about what it is that y'all wanted to do moving forward. Y'all was talking in the past, and then y'all found out if somebody was in a third party situation, okay? And then currently, you know, some of y'all are trying to take control over the situation. But secretly, you want a partnership with this person. Even though you're trying to take fast action. Um, you're trying to figure out the, fat, the, the effective way of moving fast. Um, effective action to, to take with this person, okay? But deep down inside, you really want a partnership with a person. And that's why that's going to cause burdens for you guys um in the near future because you want to move forward with this person and you want to um give equally to this person okay but for some reason that's not happening because this person is already in a commitment with somebody else and they very much are happy okay and so um i do see that the ultimate outcome for y'all that I just read in that scenario will be just throwing yourselves um into your work and um Focusing on your money so that you can become financially um, stable, okay? Wow. Where's my deck? Yeah, then we have the death card at the bottom. So I see you guys are going to be putting it into, you know, um, the shenanigans with this person. And just throwing yourself into work and um, working on getting your financial stability. So those are two scenarios that I've seen, and I had to say it because as I was skimming over the cards, I was just like, hold up, I see something else here. Other than that first situation, that first situation is very much so here, but I just seen the second one, okay? So um, in that second situation that I just read for you guys, basically it's just saying for you to, you know, trust that God will provide for all that you need, you know? Don't worry, don't stress out. Like I said, the nine of swords that came out, you was trapped in your mind about the situation. Don't worry. Don't stress out. You're going to be good. Okay? You're definitely going to be good. And like this one say, it say to commit your actions to the Lord and your and your plans will succeed. Okay? So, give yourself to the Lord. Give, put, lay your burdens, like I said, down to the Lord and everything that you plan and want will happen. It may not be, it may not look like it's going to happen right now um, to you because of... <clears throat> what you're actually witnessing in your situation, okay? But things will turn around. Things will have the, uh, the chance to turn around because you do love this person, okay? The two of cups being right here or you're in a partnership with this person. 
um, secret partnership with this person or something like that. But you guys really love each other, okay? And this is a, um, a soulmate connection. And like I said, you guys will be coming together, you know, retreating together and um, getting that need much needed a long, a long time together, okay? So you might want to let your friends help you, let go of the control issues, and pay attention to the red flags, okay? So let me tell you all the people that's in your readings, and then I'm going to close the reading out. So you can be dealing with a Scorpio, okay, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, well you are Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or anybody that has these in that chart. Aries, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or anybody that has these in their charts. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, specifically. Libra, again. And Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay? So, Taurus, this was your January 2019 reading. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next reading.